What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to get into some stimulus content today. I wanted to break down a number of things. I'm talking about the $2,000, Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi. Also talking about um, the impeachment as well um, and how that whole process could take place. Now, before I get started, please hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one and make sure that you get your two free stocks or free stocks with Weeble. I don't even know how much it is right now. I haven't checked with Weeble, but you can get two to four free stocks from what I've seen with Weeble. Um, definitely go check out the links down below. Also, um, check out my credit card links. But I wanted to jump into this because impeachment and stimulus is obviously the most important news talked about when it comes to government news. So let's dive into the stimulus. So Joe Biden has said on Friday that he wanted stimulus. Um, he wanted to approve these checks to the American people. Um, a lot of people are projecting this to cost in the trillions which is absolutely ridiculous because I believe that the $1,200 stimulus with the $500 um, child credit um, ended up being, ended up costing somewhere around 450 to $500 um, billion. So if we're not doubling that, because it doesn't seem like we're doubling that, um, how would it cost trillions of dollars? I mean, at most it would cost a trillion dollars. Um, it probably wouldn't even reach to that point if we're not doubling the $1,200, unless they're looking to add some sort of child credit into there as well. Now, I did see that they were looking into only pushing 1,400, basically partnering that up with the $600. Um, that's something that has been in the minds of people, but it hasn't been confirmed that that was the case. I, I would hope that they push $2,000 because people need more money. Um, they spent the $600 already. I have a number of people that reached out to me and said, I spent it. Um, so $2,000 would be way better than $1,400. And then if we are getting a child credit as well or a child um, payment, hopefully that is in the range of you know $500 to $1,000. That would be amazing for a lot of families to really get the boot off of their throat in this uh, downtime. The projections for December job report showed a gain of 50,000 jobs. Um, however, the actual report showed 140,000 job loss, which is crazy. This is showing that people are still affected by this pandemic. People are still in, in a horrible situation. They can't pay their bills. It's, it's in a bad way. Now, I know that the jobs report doesn't tell you everything because people can have jobs and still be struggling. So I understand where you're coming from. Um, if you are like, I don't care about a jobs report. I had a job and I'm still, you know, in debt by $10,000. I understand that. I totally understand that. Government doesn't apparently, but um, that's the way that they measure the economy is by how many people have jobs. Um, it seems that Nancy Pelosi wants to move forward more with impeachment than worry about the $2,000 um, checks because she wants President Trump out of there, especially after everything that happened. Um, this would be the second impeachment, which is absolutely ridiculous. So with that being said, let's dive into some impeachment information. So like I said, Nancy uh, Pelosi wants to move forward with this impeachment um, after the attack of the U.S. Capitol. And um, uh, President Trump, you looked at everything that happened and looked like he incited violence on um, the U.S. Capitol, which is crazy to say that a president would say, hey, we're going to the Capitol and we're going to take this thing back. Like, that's not the way you want to speak as a president. And um, it, it's kind of it, it hurts a lot of people um, that have been in government for a long time. Um, even people that, you know, support this nation that understand the flag, they're they're bringing Confederate flags into um, the U.S. Capitol. They're bringing Trump flags in there. Um, desecrating the U.S. flag, which is absolutely ridiculous. So you're inciting violence there. And that's why, you know, Twitter uh, suspended his account. Um, that's why Facebook doesn't allow him to post. This is why all of these social media sites don't allow, don't allow him to do anything. Um, but first, before they move forward with impeachment, they want to invoke the 25th Amendment. So they want uh, Mike Pence to do that. If he does not do that, then they're ready to move forward with impeachment. Um, basically, the 25th Amendment will just declare him unable to fulfill his duties, which is a simple way of saying you're fired. You know what he usually says to people. Um, and he said to Colin Kaepernick as well. But you look at this whole situation and it, it looks crazy because um, President Trump's being impeached. You know, it, you have so many people that are distancing themselves from Trump um, as Republicans. They're distancing themselves from Trump um, because it's a difference be 
between being a Trump supporter and um, a Republican. I, I definitely see the difference. Um, so let me know what you think about that. I mean, when it comes to $600, people are still receiving their money. They're still going through the process of getting their money. Some people are really struggling with actually getting their money this time. So hopefully they can fix a lot of the problems that we're having, but I'm not 100% sure that they, that they can. Um, it's all up to them, really. I can't do anything about it. I can just give you the information um, and then go from there. But $2,000 checks, they're looking to push them. Um, we'll see more about them in the next days or so. Um, also about the impeachment, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on that as well to see um, what happens with him. Uh, because we only have a couple of days left, right? Um, and if he keeps trying to incite violence, then it's not going to look good for the um, inauguration um, of Joe Biden. He's trying to push this false narrative of fraud in the election, saying that they won by a landslide. Um, they did not. Um, Joe Biden won. And that's how it goes. I mean, just stop being a sore loser and accept the loss. So that's my video for you guys. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, um, check out some of the links down below. Webull, credit card links, um, my link to my TikTok as well. Uh, I think we just hit 12,000 or no, 11,500 followers over there. So definitely check that out. But uh, that's my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.